this is Artifacts of Mars. And here's a story from the LA Times. Ludicrous, utterly absurd story. Global warming has made weather better for most in the U.S., but don't get used to it, study says. That headline is utter BS. That is incredible bullshit. Uh, excuse me. I live in the frozen plains of sunny western New York State. We're not frozen anymore. It's springtime, more or less. We're supposed to get back down to the 40s, which means it's kind of alternating between spring and winter here. But, uh, it's getting better gradually. Since Americans first heard the term global warming in the 70s, weather's actually improved for most people living in the U.S., but it won't always be that way according to a new study. That is BS. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I live in snow country. Now, this one winter has been warmer, was warmer than normal uh, because of El Nino. Uh, most of our winters have been downright dastardly. New study in the journal Nature has found that nearly the 80 percent of U.S. population lives in counties expect, experiencing more pleasant weather than they did 40 years ago. That is BS. That is bullshit. The only thing that has changed, we, yeah, you know, I can't even say that. I was going to say snow patterns have changed some. I think we're moving towards uh, smaller but more frequent snowfalls than what we used to have. Virtually, but this is utter BS. I live in snow country. I'd like to know where it is they're talking about when the winters are getting better. It's hard to complain about sunny days, but for researchers foresee a problem. If Americans think climate change has benefited their lives so far, they will have little motivation to demand action or overcome apathy in responding to global warming and scientists, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have little desire to see it get colder, you assholes. By the end of the century, however, the study predicts that the pleasant weather trend to reverse the as summers heat up un to uncomfortable temperatures. Oh my god, summers are hot. I've had hot summers before. So what? So do you people uh, in the LA Times, do you want it to be 30 degrees all summer long or something? What the hell's the matter with you? If greenhouse gas emissions continue unchecked, 88% current population will live in areas where the weather is less pleasant than it was before. Paper does not predict how long changing weather patterns will influence migration patterns over the coming century. We've received warmer winters without paying a price for hotter summers, Mullen said in an interview. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. When you look forward, that's going to shift and Americans will experience weather. By their current preferences, they're going to think of as worse. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Now, this is such utter BS. And then you have this graphic, 2015 was the hottest year on record. That's BS. And the forecast for 2016 is warmer yet. Yeah, we had a mild El Nino winter. Well, mild for much of it. See, the fall last year was warm. Because the El Nino and then we got in the winter. We didn't get a lot of snow here. Well, it got plenty cold. Well, the thing is, uh, the snow tends to exacerbate the cold, so if you don't get a lot of snow, it's going to be warmer 
than what it would be. You see, this is extortion, what they're doing. I said it. This is extortion. You have to understand what these global people, warming people are doing, are saying, well, if you don't give money to us, we can't protect you from a non-existent threat. Winter's going to go on and on. Okay, that Mullen person is Megan Mullen, the professor of environmental politics at Duke University, a hardcore left-wing wacko school. We'll take a look at her. All right, here's that uh, wacko nutcase, Megan Mullen, Duke University. This is a this is a wacko nutcase left-wing extremist. N professor Mullen, how'd she get to be a professor and she's so stupid? Professor Mullen is a scholar of American political institutions and behavior. You see that? Political. Focusing on how political and social processes contribute to environmental outcomes. Her main areas of research are in decentralized governments, water management, and climate change policy. In other words, extortion. This is a wacko nutcase. I'm getting so sick of this. There is no global warming. I mean, we go through, on a typical winter, we'll go through period of two or three weeks where it hardly even gets up to 10 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, not that stupid Celsius uh, scale. We'll get up to like 10 degrees, 10 degrees and that'll be at 5 degrees. The farmers actually hope for that because it kills insects, makes their life easier. They want to have about two two to three weeks of very seriously cold weather. No, Megan, weather has not gotten better. With the exception of an occasional El Nino winter, which is a natural process, the weather has not gotten better. We have more frequent and smaller snow f snowfalls, generally speaking, I would say. You, madam, are a liar, and I'm calling you out. This is a scholar? Come on. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.